and hello everybody this is reaper and we are going to discuss some things all right all right um uh over i got royal angel from the uh armored core community he as you may know he's a youtuber hello he played the psp versions of um armored core last raven armored core silent lion all them He's play, um, and I play. You're recently um, playing Armor Core yeah, too. Yeah, Armor Core too as well. Yeah. All right. Um, anything else would you like to add to the uh, to the list of uh, stuff on your channel? Okay, so I have the uh, portable versions of Armor Core on my channel. I play them all three of them, including Armor Core three, Last Raven, and Silent Line Portable. And then uh, just recently, I cooked up the uh, PS2 emulator. Uh, on my desktop, so I'm able to play Armored Core 2 and Armored Core 2 Another Age as well. I'm curious about, like, um, Armored Core 3 Portable, though. I mean, I played it on the Vita and all that, but it's just, I, I really, like, I, I, I beat, like, 3 in Sunline. I, I don't do S rank all the way. It's just, yeah, me um, neither. Kind of feel out. Uh, I'm a filthy casual when it comes to the game, <laughs> but uh, it's just uh, something that I wish they implemented for Nexus and Last Raven would be the uh, OPI system. I, I oh mean, yeah, they removed it, I, and a uh, hell yeah, lot of things got nerfed from Nexus onward. Hell lot of things. Yeah, like I will. Like I wished. Um, what it would have at least some at least a little raise in energy, bigger slot lockbox uh, uh, ability, use back weapons, a good some good weight and some good heat <clears throat> management. That's all I would ask for. I don't need any damage boosts or uh, or defense boosts or any of that. Just just little amps here and there, and that's I, it. I I would say though Nexus, although they nerf things a little bit, but uh, it's still not too bad. I'd say. Not until you reach Last Raven, where the Last Raven, it just practically just punishes you, like, all the time. Yeah, well, but Last Raven, I mean, like... And what's more, Last Raven it, is like, uh, part-breaking, and they, the explosions of the enemies can hurt you as well, so you can see where they're coming from. Yeah, it, it was more of a challenge as well, like, uh, I did agree, but... Um, I, for part breaking, it, it, it's kind of like a double edged sword there, because if if you get too much focus fire on on a specific part, then the weapon you would have would be rendered useless. Considering if it had, if it was, you know, oh wow, this weapon had like a decent amount of ammo, oh, yeah. and I really needed I that. I think they had the, in the line and... as well, especially they had part breaking, but it was not for like the ACs. It was more for like the weapons. Uh, they should have had it for parts, though. In but fact, I, 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 don't, I don't think part breaking uh, would be armor In Silent core. Line, the first thing that they probably break from your AC is your extensions. Yeah. Then they go for the shoulder weapons and then the arm weapons. But there are exceptions. Yeah, like, I don't, like, I, I do like that, but then again, I don't. Because it's 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 a double edged sword, like I said, and I don't know, like they did they just continued that during like what for for answer no no four four series and the five series, and um, yeah, it's just uh, it was a good thing that they introduced, but it was also a bad thing at the same time, and they got rid of it, and I can understand why they got rid of it, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it's just. Like that. That was a. That was pretty. It was pretty intensify. Um, intensifying, to you know participate in combat, and then that just happens to you. That's like the ultimate bad luck charm for whoever's the victim. <laughs> yep. But. Um, there there's a mod for uh, Last Raven on the portable where you can use OPI. There is. Uh, I still have it. Uh, I'm just not sure where I placed it on my on my computer just gotta go look for it. i don't have the i don't have the uh psp emulator i have the ps2 emulator the, but yeah, one thing i did the, i, I, I believe like that you have to insert like what 
action replay codes or game shark uh, in order to use OPI on the PS2 version. Really? Yeah. This is what I heard. Like on the was it was yeah. Oh. Was there like um because PS2 have like a little hard drive thing for specific games that it required that or you could just use it for like vanilla <clears throat> with just the memory card? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but most of the time they use either Action Replay or they use Game Shark uh, for the cheat codes. Uh, but I never really, but I never really touched mm. them because, well, it's not like I really needed them anyway. I, I don't consider it cheating having back weapons. I just like to spice it up everything because you know it's it's just you know everybody in uh, Armor Core Last Raven just uses the the Pixie two and three. Mm -hmm. And it's just ridiculous. Like, besides that, they would use a rifle and a laser blade and just call it, like, oh, well. Yeah. This is just, like, my uh, my build. And it's just, like, everybody uses the same type of thing. And it's just comp... It's, it's frustrating. Yeah, I know. I believe that the... Uh... Uh, I, I, I would like extra diversity. And that's what OPI could have brought to the table. If they if they if they continued, which they should have, in my opinion. Yeah. Although I will admit, OPI is sort of like it does add more diversity, but at the same time, because you're just uh, because you have OPI, you're so used to using the same weapons over and over. It also kind of like nullifies it, you know. Well, I do agree, but I'm just saying, like, just to at least have like a little bit of an energy increase for the energy gauge. Uh, a little I think bit it of had increase, that information a weight too. increase, and then, uh, and then at least the back weapons, just just five features that OPI should have had. I, I don't need a defense or attack increase. I just need would, would like that. <laughs> and, yeah, but, I think um, in four, I think it was in Amico Four with all of your. I think the next they can all use back weapons without uh, kneeling. Yeah, without a problem. I played for answer. I, I still couldn't understand like the uh, mechanics in four. I mean, it's not that I didn't like it. It's just I I couldn't. I don't. It's not you know, really it your style. Such a change, a drastic. It was such a drastic change from the from. Yeah, you know, I know. What I was known on the uh, Armor Core series, I mean, it was a little bland having the bunny hopping for what three three generations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, I mean, it was pretty fun. <clears throat> but Armor Core 4 was just like a drastic change. It was more of like super um, fast pace, I guess. Gameplay. Yeah, super fast pace, vertical gameplay. But the problem was when people lag a lot and the only weapons that were pretty useful in the fourth generation were just rifles because besides all the lag, all you would just need to do is just shoot the enemy with a rifle because all the other weapons would just have slow velocity or never reach their target in time. Hmm. I think that applies for the fifth gen as well, because I played fifth gen for quite some time, and yeah, yeah that lag. Fifth gen everything. was pretty fun, but yeah, fifth gen was pretty fun, but most of the time people just kept using high power yeah, weaponry, and, and, and the meta then, builds, yeah, the weapons just yeah, especially the meta builds. Like I remember, I well, PVP like multiple times, and pretty much all that i ever see yeah. is just uh, people wielding freaking dual shotguns or dual battle rifles or dual melee weapons well yeah people just people did that and i i don't i don't mind it to be honest because it it was just meta like that's just how it was it's just you had to figure out how to um what's the word i'm looking for here you would have to counter the uh, the enemy's game uh, game plan. Mm. You would have to learn not to get in the comfortable with what you want to play as. Yeah, that, uh, basically another thing that gave false to hope was the enemy has, which which is a good thing. Don't get me don't get me wrong, but the problem is um, people usually don't want to switch out you know, parts or whatever because of like looks or um, combat effectiveness or you know what they're comfortable with. <laughs> And I do agree, say what you're, what you're comfortable with, but I don't think looks is another good option or what's a powerful weapon because, uh, you know, a weapon's just powerful, but what's more powerful is a person behind it that knows how to play with the mechanics <laughs> yeah, and knows how to exactly. um, use it against their opponent. 
um, people usually like it's all dependent on skill. Uh, no. Yeah, like I played five in Verdict Day uh, with um, higher tier players, and they they just mopped the floor with me. It's not that it's not that um, there was anything wrong with that or any of that. It's just I didn't know how to play the mechanics as much well, as they did. Yeah, then and I was sort of like used to it, but after a while I kind of got sick of it. So I just yeah, don't get me wrong. You get you can get sick of it as well. I I got sick of it, but I understood that they were playing the mechanics better than I was because I would just bunny hop from game to game, <laughs> like um, from Armored Core to like Call of Duty or. <laughs> Or some other stuff because but yeah, Vinton just has pretty dope fun stuff with games. as well. Like you being able to kick people or kick stuff, that was actually pretty cool. Yeah, it was an ulti- It was another counter in case you ran out of weapons you or whatever. It was good. Knee people in their faces. Yeah, but um, the like a problem was for um five in Verdict Day was too many people were using lightweight bipedals and medium weight bipedals and rendered the other blades. other builds useless. It rendered the other builds useless because, or not rendered them useless, but uh, it's just not very viable, I guess. It was just super popular, and the way they the people built them with other weapons kind of made them die out a little. <laughs> but besides that, uh, the community kind of died out more was because they didn't want to play the meta. They didn't want to play differently oh i got beat so that means i should just not you know work with um but something different and they, they stop just, focusing on trying to look out of the make box. my parts look yeah make it look out of the box don't make it look like a generic cookie cutter <laughs> type thing where everything looks cool but in reality if you fight if you fight with it it's just gonna just blow up in your face <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like I've, I, there's a lot of people that did that, and then um, they leave after the game saying, "Oh, the game's broken," but in fact, they they really couldn't play with the build because it's just oh, like it's just about the look. You just couldn't handle it, basically. It's just about the power. Yeah, like you, there are people that play with like junk parts and all that, and they can mop the floor with you <laughs> because they they you know they knew how to play with the with the mecha- like I said, the mechanics yeah. or the weapons. Because you can play with high, like I said, high power weapons, but if you don't know how to play right, then it's yeah, that, the high that's power what weapons will not at the be beginning. in your favor. I was using all decked out, powerful weapons that would pretty much just, you know, kill stuff within seconds. But then if you go to PvP, yeah, it, it, it gives you a false sense of hope. Yeah, and then make you go out there and then die off like immediately. So yeah, when I got exposed to PvP, and then I realized, okay, I gotta get used to the mechanics, and uh, I better pick up. I better pick up yeah. my skill, because doing it like the way I normally do, it's not gonna work. My the the um the three the mark paper scissors defense was uh something that kind of bugged me in a way. But I had to get used to. Oh yeah. Um, like the 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 T the defense, KE, e defense. The yeah, KE. the three defense types, basically. Yeah, you can you can use the defense types that can block out most of the stuff, but it's just um, I've seen people mainly just block out K E and C E and leave T E unguarded. <laughs> yeah, because not many people use energy weapons but, unless they're using blades or something. I would use like miss back in well in verdict day I would use missiles but in five I would use like pulse machine guns or uh, plasma guns. Hmm. Oh, they would do the trick. Yeah, it does a lot more damage. I normally use uh, <laughs> what's that? Battle rifles, uh, Gatling guns. Then, uh, yeah, Gatling guns are good. I I, I did that in the f- first patch of uh, verdict day before the first patch because uh, I was told that um back in the beginning of five. It, that stuff was so OP. It was it wasn't even funny. <laughs> and uh, they, what's funny was it actually worked back in um, back in the beginning of Verdict Day as well. It's pretty fun. Like before the patch. Yeah, before like the very first patch it received from, um, like how how uh, five did it. Mm. It was kind of almost the same. 
with the uh, patching and nerfing. <laughs> From what what I saw anyway, people um somebody who would play more could um argue differently about it, but for me it was kind of like that. Well, I used to play it. A I didn't lot. pay much attention just, to all that because stuff. it was just so much uh, dependence on online capability. It just oh, I love the twenty man team, dude. That 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 felt so good. <laughs> Yeah, but it it, it like, doesn't really uh, fit you that well, especially if your teammates don't do shit, or they're just really really scrubby at the game. Yeah, I got you. Hell, there was even um, one time because I couldn't trust anyone. I just rolled out with my entire squad of unmanned ACs, and I still got <laughs> my freaking ass handed over to me. Oh, it's all good, dude. Like, I. Remember back in five, I did that, and I actually met a couple of good people that way. Um, Verdict day the same way. I met a friend of mine. He's actually one of the closest um, friends of mine now mm -hmm. on PS4. And well, two couple of them actually. One was from five. The other one was I think was in Verdict day. Huh. And then another one was from five as well. And then. You, you moved over, but um, I'm wait. Do you, do you have an Xbox or? I have a PlayStation. No, you said you had a PS3. Right? I have a PS3. Okay, so back in the uh, what part of uh, Armor Core Five were you on? Like yeah, in the beginning, the middle, or the end? I think I was at the end, like right before. I think it was before the servers got the servers got shut down. Yeah, that was when. Oh, so. Because I got the game in like what so you... freaking late 2012. Yeah. I... All right. So that's why I, yeah. I didn't get to do much online stuff in five, but I did a hell lot of online stuff in Verdict Day. Yeah, because Verdict Verdict Day was pretty was fun, <laughs> but it was too linear with the mapping and all that. Oh yeah, it's fun if you can but, uh... like get if you can adapt yourself and get used to the mechanics there. Yeah, then. It's all good. Yeah, but the the maps in 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 Verdict Day seem lazier. <laughs> yeah, especially the. Uh... In my opinion, it was more it was more flat and more horizontal. It did it didn't favor tanks as much. <laughs> it didn't favor. Well, t tanks it, it kind of did, but then again, it didn't. When, <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. When it came, because a friend of mine. Uh, he didn't like to play tanks anymore when it came to Verdict Day. Uh, I remember, like, there was, like, little no cover for me for aerial combat. I like to mix it up now and then. And it just, it didn't work out. <laughs> like, in the beginning, it did. But, like, I, I just lost track of everything. And I was just like, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, it kind of, like, grows on you after a while. Yeah. Especially when it came down to pile driving. Like, oh, I yeah, was pretty the good in the oh beginning. Oh, my God, then... those things. Don't even remind me of them. I just... And then, like, every time I try to get close to a person now, it's like, yo, I got you. And then, and then you just... I miss. Nope. I, I shoot early. And then I just fall down. And the person is like, what? And then the person is like, nope, you're not going to hit me. But he just looks down and he's like, what you say about um, hitting he's me? He's like, oh, I'm like, sorry, you're, you're saying the... something? <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was just ridiculous. Yeah, I, I was never really but... a good melee fighter uh, in 5. Because I was just really suckish with the pile drivers. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not that I hate melee combat. Hell, I'm a, I'm actually a blade, blade, blade guy in the old games. But when it comes to the fifth gen, I'm just... I suck at bleeding in four and uh, two, three, and four. <laughs> oh my god! Especially in next, I, yeah. I think that the uh, late third gen, they also kind of nerf bleeding like freaking hard. Hell, the uh, blade, tra the blade tracking, especially back in the old games like AC one to three, that was freaking good. Yeah, it was stupid good. I tell you. Yes, it was great. Then you get to Nexus Back and in. like, what the hell happened to the Blades? 
well, they, they kind of follow like more like especially if you were in midair and then the blade automatically homed onto the target. It it, it foreshadowed uh four and four answer mm. the way that was. Because if you remember like if you remember just flying up in the air, like a little bit like after you bunny yeah. hop or uh yeah, if you bunny hop if you do like a jump and you're get some air time yeah. and you strike you'll notice that the tracking is just like for answer. Yeah. Four it forms in on the target that you're gonna hit. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, that's actually the way blades should have been working all the time. But for some reason, they decided to remove that in the later games, especially in the late third gen. Yeah, it was. Well, I don't think in the late third gen because the last Raven does the same thing. Well, Nexus to the last Raven is technically the the uh, late third gen. The early third gen was from three to Silent Line. Yeah, I, I know that. It's just I was saying, like, in the late third gen, Last Raven did it as well. It did yeah, the Last Raven did it even worse. The they just, like, they completely butchered it. Hmm. That's why I just literally gave up trying to blade stuff in Last Raven. Because they just completely just gave the middle finger to all the players out there that like to use blades with that nerfing yeah. of the blade tracking. I would like a um, an AC where you can have like one arm that's a regular humanoid arm, the other arm which is a weapon arm. Hmm. Never and thought about can, that. Like that. That would be a good like. I think they had that. You can have like three where, to four weapons. Where was that? No. Wait. Which generation am I talking about now? Frick. I'm getting confused. Well, I'm just saying it in general. Where you can have, what, up to five weapons? That would be awesome. I think you can actually have up to five weapons. Like, even without no, I, the weapon arms. I, I'm saying without Exceeded Orbit or uh, Insides, Missiles, or any of that. Like, Missiles for Armor Core 5 and Verdict Day. I'm saying, like, the, the weapon arm with the two back weapons on your shoulder... Your and then your right arm weapon that's like four to five weapons there. <laughs> that's yeah, that's four actually. Never mind. Or better, if your arm has like a regular arm mode and a weapon arm mode, wouldn't that be cool? That'd be good, like the one arm by itself or the two arms. Yeah, I did. I never really thought about that. <laughs> because mostly yeah, I've been did... using regular arms with weapons, and I hardly ever touch weapon arms. I don't want as much either, but it's it's pretty fun. But I prefer the humanoid arms better. Yeah, the humanoid arms, they basically, they can serve very much like anything. They are suited for very much all kinds of purposes. Whereas weapon arms, it's really uh, limited in what you can do. Yeah, it's very limited ammo and resources. Then once you're out, then those arms are just done. Yeah, they're just gone for good. Man, I will say though, weapon arms, they they can be really OP, especially the linear gun weapon arms. You know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. those I things hate. are freaking sick, man. But the but the defense stats, oh my god. Weapon arms have really terrible defense stats. So, yeah, even though it's powerful, the armor is pretty damn weak. Yeah. But, uh, speaking of uh, linear weapons, I, I, do, I cannot stand Evangel. I cannot stand Lucifer. Oh yeah, Damon, Evangel, Isami Josh from the PSP Last Raven. They all use the damn linear guns, like, what the freaking hell. They just spam the thing right up in your face. That is so ridiculous. I found a way to approach that's just that, That's just Stun City. Speaking of Stun City, I remember back I, in the day. There's when, actually uh, a way five. to avoid that. It's basically just go with a quad or, yeah, basically go with a quad, and the linear guns will have no effect on your AC. 
Oh yeah, because the, the 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 quads have more recoil resistance. Yeah, that's the reason why. Yeah, because they're they're more uh, prone to stun than anybody else. But back in uh, Armor Core Five, I remembered I went into a a tunnel in abandoned city, and then a dude just set up a bunch of like movement jammers, and used sentry gun turrets. Oh my god! It just hard stunned me right in place. I was hey, but like, Yo. hang on, abandoned city? Which map was that again? I don't. It, it was the one where um you had a big river in the middle. Uh... And then okay. you had two, two uh, roads that connect to bridges or whatever. Uh, was there, it was, was the one where Zeon on Elite or... kept. Uh, yeah, there were buildings on it. It was all like it was like executive sector, but much, much uh, smaller. Oh boy, I'm kind of confused. Now. It was on the. It was the one in the bottom right corner, on the world map. Bottom right corner. Is that the place where you fight? Uh... Wait, what special boss was that? I think there was a special boss on that on that side of the map. No, not in abandoned city. There was one in Huge Canyon. There was one in uh, abandoned facility. Then, which was the desert. There was one in. Uh, oh my god, my memory. Urban cloudy. area. Was the abandoned city with the uh, two? Was that bridges on either on one side? And... Yeah, it was two bridges with the river, and it had like tunnels in the on the other side. Tunnels. Yeah, tunnels. A system of tunnels. Oh boy, I can't really recall now. Forgive me. Um, do you remember Zion Elite? Basically, the team Zion Elite. I know of Zion Elite, but I never faced okay. them. That's where they were. They were in a abandoned city, so they ended up boosting it, and then that's how they have they kept it for the entire game. Huh. So that was basically their lawn the whole time. Yeah, that was their lawn. Oh well, my! It was a. It was a garbage uh, move, but. It was theirs. Uh, marine facility was actually for my team because oh yeah, marine facility yeah that was uh, I remember that place. Yeah, towards the end, uh, we we got the the territory. I believe it had a different um, name in Verdict Day, like the marine facility. I think it was called. Oh, they all got a different they, name. They called something a plant. What plant? I can't remember. They named it a plant. I just couldn't remember what plant the did name. they name it. It it was just like a disaster. It was just supposed to be like a disaster state after five. Yeah, I know because VD takes and, place. Uh, after. It, it actually succeeded, dude. Like that was one of the one of the good changes with the game. Hmm. Urban area was a flood zone as well, so yeah. <laughs> Oh my! That, but yeah, it's like that map that you mentioned. I really can't recall it anymore. Jeez, I only remember the huh. the one that has like the Eiffel Tower looking structure, and then there's. Oh no, that's in Verdict Day. Oh, so you're talking about that's five the... right now, right? Yeah, I was talking about five. Oh, I I've, I've never uh, done online play for five, so I don't know. No, oh, I'll see if I can get a YouTube video up. <laughs> Wait, so you're uploading it now? No, I'm gonna look it up on YouTube. Here. Wait, I... I can't see, bro. On. Hi, I'm gonna you go to Discord now. Whoa, what? 
Oh, that's my capture card. My bad. Yeah, I see it. Can you see it now? Oh. Oh, so this is abandoned city. I think I remember this now. Hey, resumption. I remember oh, yeah. this as well. I mean, I've seen it on the on on YouTube. Wait, is this? Oh, this is a is this a Japanese yeah, server? Yeah, it was one. Um, it was one uh, of the maps I wanted to play. So this is abandoned city. Yeah, I remember Japanese this now. Copy. This is where I uh, on the Japanese wrecked copy. the two Zodiac ACs, I believe. Yeah, and the story. Uh, no, the story. The order missions or something like that. Yeah, the yeah story. that's where I killed them here. Yeah, it, yeah. It, <laughs> I I didn't like this. I will say though that, day, that it was just even like though the storyline was kind of lazy, the the uh, ACs. Asides blue, uh, I mean, asides the one that you fight in game, the blue Magnolia AC was sort of dope. I mean, hell, she's the freaking epitome of all the ACs. I think she was the only good fighter in Verdict Day. Like, no one else fought better than yeah. her. Yeah. It was one of the um, one of the cool ACs in Armor Core Break Day. I liked uh, Fat Man. He was pretty comic comedic, Wait, uh, especially in the beginning where he was started it a singing, hidden singing or in the first mission of Break Day. Was that an alternative soundtrack? Uh, it was both because so he, he started was actually humming. Uh, humming. And, uh, and talking at the same and time. The intro. I always thought that it was a different soundtrack thing. or something. Yeah. No, he was humming, but uh, I think they that later was the, it uh, as, like, the DLC a pack OST for the soundtracks, I believe. <laughs> yeah, I know that Verdict Day they had a I, I, I they had a lot of so. DLCs. I'm actually. not too sure. Including that music soundtrack. Yeah. But yeah, it was it was a good um. It was pretty good, but I I didn't like that music um that much though. I didn't like. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't like much of uh, four fives or. Or fives music. To be I, honest. I usually only, only prefer the like. the older game themes. But, um, <laughs> they are more, prefer... more like kick ass and yeah, really fun to listen to. I prefer uh, like Morning oh, yeah, Lemon Tea Mind was Fire. pretty fun. My God, that is a kick ass. Morning theme. Lemon Tea was pretty good. Yeah. We even go to themes of well, um, Ace Yeah, Combat zero. Was that's themes. pretty good. Four or fives. Zeros, um, Infinity, the remastered ones. Oh man, yeah. On, let me see if I yeah, can get. Yeah, um, sure. Another, go ahead. Do you mind if I bring somebody else into the? Um, let me see if I can get him in. Oh, yeah. yeah, you were saying? But, it, like, I, I like the Ace Combat ones much better than Armored Cores if, if I have to go there. Like, there there is no Whoops. way to, to deny that.
But, um... Yeah, I knew. Yeah, you, like, you you noticed I did play Ace Combat from the other video I had for Ace Combat. And, uh... N like, wh whenever I do a video, like, for example, back when last... When Armor Core 3, I, I, I did a Let's Play of... People... Like, I didn't notice as much views as... Yeah, because Armored Core has a limited fan base, so... Pretty much anyone that can make videos on it, people are bound to watch it. As compared to Ace Combat. Because Ace Combat is a much more popular game. Yeah. Like, Ar Armored Core is pretty... Like, they, they, they need to get the... Uh, What's that? They need to at least watch and the thing, Ace Combat and stuff from Ace Combat. Share the same well, initials because I I don't know. I feel like it's kind of one sided. Which can be in quite way. confusing. Yeah, they they was, was that that and uh, they're from the same what is it publisher? Bandai Namco. They're from the same publisher, uh, Namco Ban uh, Bando Namco or whatever. Yeah, we, like I, me and my friends go with nicknames because we're we're just mix the names up to troll, I guess. But uh, <laughs> Van Dyne Echo, yeah, like they they are from the same groups, and I I do believe that they should be uh, yep. more well known than they are right now, especially Armor Core. This combat's well known as it is, but people still don't want to play it. I don't know. It's just if. If it's nothing good, like, if it's nothing, like, that catches their eye via advertisements, I don't believe that they're going to play it, which I do believe Ace they Combat mostly, and Armored Core They mostly only advertise that in Japan, in the, uh, because that was the US, original. The publishers and then they really... Should, they, mm. Yeah. But I, I don't I don't think it's from Software's fault or uh, Project Ace's fault that, that the um, advertisements aren't here. I believe it's Namkai Bando's fault. I mean, Bandai Namco, because they need to they need to acknowledge, hey, we have a good player base here in the US, in the states. Or, I think that might be the only one that I you know, stumbled upon it other here. than Asia. Because I've I've never yeah, we need like to, to uh, met but, anyone else that has heard of Armored Core. Like, yeah. I might be the only one here. Well, besides the fact that it's kind of um, like becoming a dying breed, to be honest, be with uh, how people are and they don't want to play mech games if it's not Gundam. Or if they see <laughs> I think Armored Core is going to pretty much crush I mean, the Transformers. If they see Armored Core, they automatically call it Transformers. And... <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, depending on you how know mass produced they, they are in the East the cars, So. Well, that because Cybertron, you know, Cybertron's already fallen. Beat the Menorjong. Cybertron's already fallen. The only way they need to, uh, the only means they need to hide. Yo, I swear to God, it's like dead by it daylight, but with the uh, armored core and transformers. Like something like if it had a mech that could Freaking transform, transformers, their, their how dope day... would that be? Although I'm not sure exactly how do you. Then to have the pretty good. I mean, they uh, what is it? Mm. What Robotech did it? Robotech so. Battalion. If they, if they were to really make it. a transformable mech in Armored Core, I wonder how they're because, gonna make uh, it. These faced it. I mean, like, I'm not sure how exactly the face? how the people would want to face that transformable mech in an AC. In fact, I actually think that Armored Core 2 had something like hmm. that. How people would say face. Um, also, what is it? You mean the prototype well, polarizer? Nexus kind of hinted on that with the uh, last Speaking polarizer. Speaking of that, I actually just yeah, beat the, the final the, polarizer. Well, no, the, final the, pol the, uh, yeah, the prototype polarizer before. Like, before like I came in here, I actually fought that off. I killed it all. Yeah. 
like as like a little warm-up. I was warm just up. Uh, playing Nexus. I only started playing Nexus or like recently, you get to play and then Nexus. I just killed it earlier. I just killed the Proto Pulverizer just now. I mean, yeah. Uh, Yo, but it's but here's the thing. not a very How do you climactic like ending? ending, I'd say. It's like, oh, you die for the sake of the world to live. It, it's so an emotional like ending. It's it's not like a climatic one. You just watch you die. Well, the operator doesn't need yeah, to do shit. All you need to do is just it's our way, what, blah, sit blah, back blah, and just relax. Preaching, and then you're just, just watch getting you killed. die. No, yo. It's it's not our way. Look, look, lady, you're sitting in or you're sitting like in a that. comfortable place, getting paid eight dollars an hour, or or not even that. What tw fifteen dollars an hour? Get, uh, getting on like trying to advertise Avon or some shit. Having air conditioning, <laughs> you get you get what paid leave? You get dental. And here here we are busting our asses. Literally just slaving into corporations, and you're telling me it's our way. No, no, no. I, I, it's one side. Up in a Get your ass in the neck. I will take. I will take the. Just, uh... pew, 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 pew. Well, who knows? It can always be like for answer, you know? Freaking. Oh, I'm, I'm sick and tired of you. I'm bringing out the. I'm breaking um, out my mech that like I just decided to learn with a uh, two-day crash like course, and suddenly I can beat your I ass. Guess. Oh god! No, but like, remember in um for answer, like the one ending where you face oh, your um the four people with the uh, operator. Wait, what? Your operator comes out to kill you, and is like. Yo, like the first time I, f I saw that shit, I was like, "What? How, how did how did she have know, a mech? Uh, maybe oh, like, who gave her the keys? Who taught her? It's like saying like it's like Mike Tyson putting back the glo putting <laughs> putting the gloves back on just to bite your ear off one more time. Is that's how it feels." <laughs> It, it, I think that Project Phantasma was the only, or but um, like the only game to have the operator actually fight alongside you. Like if you remember Sumika, she had her like Coral Star looking. I think it was called. Coral I, I Star. never knew that. Like her AC, a pink AC was called Coral Star, and then she'd be like on the battlefield fighting along with you, although she's hardly of any use anyway uh -huh. because that. That little BB gun of hers does hardly any That's damage. That's pretty cool. Well, well. What what kind of NPC is ever with you? Like, let's just remember that. <laughs> they're like, yeah. they're, just, they're we're, just we're gonna be the honest. They're we're, they're just there for cannon fodder. <laughs> there there are portable robotic meat shield. Let's just put it that way. If anything happens to yeah. them. We don't care because oh, we still man. have what nine thousand more AP to go. You know this kind of reminds like, oh, me. No. Uh, I she think died. Was, yeah, no. I think it was Buster TBM's oh, videos no. where there was that mission. He had to rescue the hostage, and then he ends up squashing him under his foot. <laughs> it's, it's pretty hilarious. This is why, wow. you know, being a life of a merc, of a mercenary, you end up doing stuff you shouldn't yeah, do. Dude. And you end up doing the opposite thing of what you're supposed to do. Like, oh, oh. <laughs> it's like, and then the op, and then the operator, I wonder how Did the I operator is going to uh, say, <laughs> like, what's he going to say about that? It's like, like... Um, what happened? Uh, they got to him. Did you realize how much money we just lost? Do you do you realize <laughs> that we have to pay for oh all that life God. insurance that he we just wasted away? Do you do you understand what this is gonna do to my credit? I will never be able or to afford that dream Hawaii, vacation maybe, to Hawaii, I don't know, Canada, or something. Oh, 
I don't know. Canada. I don't know something. I guess Canada. That that I don't know. But uh it's just Oh man, on record was just uh, I remember I made some something about the uh some remark about the uh buildings in armor core 3 it's like how do people still live here <laughs> it's just like fighting mechs every day you know and not, i no think problem uh anymore. some of the armor cores oh had God. very hilarious moments it is like you had to name a few like uh can't remember which one was it but uh leaving ac1 there was that one point where you come out like you're basically uh employed on a mission to mop up some remnants i think it was a chrome remnants and then uh once you finish killing all the empty side like that whatever cave yeah. or that pit was in and then you come out and then your uh operator your heli the one that's uh piloting your ac carrier helicopter he just goes like raven help m m m monster <laughs> Like the, the he he wasn't even like saying the word monster so, like in a monster. complete sentence. He was like stuttering the word monster uh, before he dies. <laughs> you know, like help me, m m m m monster. Yo, it was like somebody got the t turntable to work. He was like m m m m m monster. And then, and then to yeah, think like that the, uh, that, uh, that, that, that massive MTU face at the end, the he was freaking DJ weak. Booth. Like, hell, a few blade slashes would just finish the job. Yeah. They should have made it more, uh, more worthwhile. I'm not sure if you've ever encountered, like, any awesome. sort of hilarious glitches as well, but I've encountered a few. Oh, I, 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 like, in Last Raven, for example, when you first fight D-Bolt, uh, I know, I mean, Bolt, I keep saying D-Bolt, because he's a, he's a player in Armored Core 5, but the character Bolt in Armored yeah, Core Last Raven. Yeah, the distribution center recon. Uh, you know when you first fight him at the distribution center? Yeah, I hide behind the warehouse when you move to the right. Immediately to the right. I hide behind the warehouse. <laughs> and then did he try to go around the and building? I start or something? shooting vertical missiles. <laughs> the AI is just too stupid to know how to go he around the building. He doesn't go around the building. Like, the AI does not work with that. No, no. It's just that um, oh. that portion of the map is not mapped out for him to, hmm. to uh, take part in it. If you keep jumping around, he could come over, and that's a rarity. But yeah. for the most part, he's on the other side, and that I just sounds keep like something I could have used the, on my first playthrough of Last Raven. Missiles. And then when it rimfire, when you uh, when you fight Zubin El Janubi and uh, and rimfire, oh yeah, the slope. When you the, fight yeah, Zubin, you you, and... you put him up against the uh, the slope. Or, or you wall. can just freaking slash him. And you just all start the time. shooting him, and that's what I do. And he's dead. I just bring you know, a freaking blade or something, and then whenever Zubin gets backed up against yeah. that corner or that slope, I just keep slashing away until he jumps away. Oh yeah. The yeah. Or when you fight Wanton Busker in the <laughs> dam, you just uh, get yeah, under, works, and then you just start shooting him. With the uh, vertical missiles. But then missiles. after that, you also got to fight Vola like, Vola. Vertical missiles like, are your after friend. After you kill Wenton Busker. Uh, that the scrub doesn't even last a second. <laughs> like, I, I don't know who. Like, that was another thing I missed that feature the, the Raven <laughs> list and all that. It gave it gave some depth to the game that was needed, and then they just was like, "Oh, we're just gonna incorporate this into one game, yeah." And then uh, we're gonna get rid of it at, right after, you know. Yep. 
It was fun. I wish um, more games. I mean, had uh, it for, uh, there's also before. another thing about Ravens working together on missions. I just wish that there was more of that. Like, I know it's not very common to see them, but I would just love to see yeah. a bit more variety about that. Like, I wanted it to dig in a bit, a little bit more about the Ravens working together on missions. Like, I wish, yeah. uh, for, like, more important missions, like, if Silent Line was created, like, yeah, for Armor Core 3, when, when three. you, uh, group up with Union to fight the, uh, the yep. corporation, like, you can have, you can have all the ACs banned with you, <laughs> and you just, uh, get stuck in a hallway, and you have to firefight your way to the <laughs> other side, and you and the ACs push through yeah. and make a hole in their defense. I mean, that was the only, like, mission that'd that be, that'd the, be really cool. the Ravens band together just to work for that one mission. Yeah. It, it gave more yep. of, um... More depth to the story. But another thing was uh, in Silent Line when all the uh, AI yep. started turning against you. That would have been another good moment. Like, but then you do moments, know actually. that there are certain points where the raven that you're working with might betray you. Like Huntress. And uh, I can't remember what's the other raven's name. But yeah. uh, that other raven, if you but... like continually shoot her then she'll turn on you and then you have to end up killing her i think it was red or something yeah hmm. but yeah there, there's that one that two two missions actually with yeah you one of them is you can get the ac that you're working with to turn on you and the other one is She's, she will betray you. Yeah, Huntress is, uh, I was shocked at her. I was like, really, you, you chose their side? Well, uh, you just Hell, bought yourself now that a one-way ticket that to place the that you uh, work graveyard, with in, friend. It even feels like you're in a graveyard of sorts. Yeah, the ruins. It feels like a freaking graveyard by itself, man. Yeah, the ruins. It's like as if, now that it even feels, feels like, like Huntress actually lured you there to your death. You know? Yeah. It, it felt weird. And, like, that, well, that was it. If you're a raven... I, Betrayal is not something that you should be really like. I you destroyed know, not her. Expect. And I destroyed the other guy. In a world where ravens exist and all the corporations are in direct competition with each other, it's bound to happen. Your enemies, you, I mean, your allies can become enemies, yeah. or it can also go the other way around. Yeah, that that's what also that was another feature that made the game fun as well. So, uh, what else can we have? I'm kind of running out of ideas here. So, mm, not really a big what else, Ace what combat fan, to Ace but combat? Uh, yeah, it's. I guess you could say it's a fun game because I actually did use some Ace Combat soundtracks in my videos. Yeah. I just try to do it, but I don't want a copyright yep. claim. But I know it's like. In fact, now that. Can't uh, help when you put I'm thinking of downloading some retro games that I can then emulate and then so play I try them. To... And uh, then. Then I can just uh, revisit these games that I once played. Yeah. Yeah, that's a 
That's always a good thing because, like, when PlayStations and stuff or hard drives, it's just it's like never ending space or whatever until a point, and then next thing you know, <laughs> you have to force to be you have to be forced to delete one thing mm-hmm. or another. It's so like when you have to you've done some That's so something that you always worked so hard me. for one thing only to delete it all away at the but, at um, the end. Yes. That's always just funny. Also, uh, have you ever, like, played any uh, PS1 type of retro games? I mean, I did have one on the PS2, but it was a Japanese game. What's that? Spyro. Oh, Spyro, yeah. I remember that. Spyro, Year of the Dragon. Back when oh, the games and, uh, were, have you ever ever uh, heard of Ray Storm? It's a it's a Japanese game. Ray what? Ray Storm. Hang on, let me show you. Hold on. All right. Wanna do something first? Not sure if you can see this, but uh, can you see it? Yeah, this is the game that I'm talking about, Raystorm. Yeah, I can see it. It's uh, it's an arcade game, but uh, eventually they released it uh, to Sony <coughs> on the uh, PlayStation. So yeah, this was one. Of, this is one of the old games that I. Hmm. And uh, not sure you ever seen not bad this as well. Whoa! This is the uh, the other one I had. Oh shit! So yeah, this was the other one, uh, Taito Memories. I had that on my PS2 like when I was younger, and then they had all the remakes of the very retro, very olden day sort of games, like Space Invaders. You know? So yeah, there's that. Oh yeah, and if you hear like some chatter in the background, because my parents they are yeah talking to each other. And uh they're blasting music at full blast. It's all good. On the other room. Yeah. Oh boy. So uh, what's the plan now? Do you still plan on continuing it? I can uh, continue on another day, I guess.